Alexa, how are you doing? For Mitch Sturgeon, improvements in resources and technology have become Alexa, a game changer. Turn on desk light. Shortly after Mitch and his family moved to Southern Maine in 2000, Mitch was diagnosed with MS. In 2001 to 2008, I progressed from a limp to a cane to crutches and then a whip, my first wheelchair was in 2008. He is now an advocate for MS and has taken up writing thanks yes, to the help of technology. I think, if I remember correctly, I enjoyed writing in high school. Mm -hmm. And then I became an engineer. Mitch started a blog, enjoyingtheride.com, a place where he talks about his journey living with MS. When people started writing things like, wow, Mitch, your, your writing inspires me. It's making a difference in my life. I just, you know, there's no better feeling in the world than than finding out that you're helping people. He has also recently finished a book, which an excerpt was featured in Down East Magazine. One resource that plays a major role in Mitch's journey is physical therapy. Physical therapy days aren't bad days, they're good days. You know, it's nice to go to physical therapy, interact with professionals, friendly people like at Back in Motion, and to just be doing something to fight back against the disease. Years ago, the criteria from insurance companies was in order to stay in physical therapy treatment, you needed to show improvement. About three years ago, that criteria changed for chronic diseases like ALS and MS, where the goal was not to get better, but to maintain for as long as they can. It helps prevent them from potentially developing uh, other types of symptoms that might not be solely because of the, of the disease process might be an adaptation from what the disease process is doing. Helps them maintain their function, improve some postural things, prevent them from losing any strength, and in some cases even gain in some of those things that like strength that maybe they didn't think they could gain in. It's kind of funny. We, we do uh, bench presses and in my healthy days I would, I, w I was kind of a weightlifter and uh, I hadn't done bench presses for 10 or 15 years and we started doing them and I'm doing them with a, uh, a dowel and a couple of pounds and I joke and I have to have assistance to do those but I, I joke with my whoever's helping me that uh, you know you've you've got to you know shout my name you know like like we do at the gym Mitch 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 <laughs> and I push as hard as I can then I joke that uh, you know you better spot me carefully because if I drop this dowel it's going to crush my my uh, windpipe, but it, it, you know, all that joking aside, it felt good to do bench presses again. I think it's even surprised himself a little bit about some of the things that we've asked him to do throughout his time here and what he has been able to do. Enjoying the ride and inspiring others along the way.